Heidi Ho, Cindy Lynn, and Tony from Bridgeview Adventures, and we're here at the storage facility for our Beastie Motorhome. It's been in storage for a few months now, and we just wanted to come check things out. And also, we have a couple of holes in our our uh, storage cover here, and we bought this patch repair repair kit. couple repairs here and we'll do a up close view of it while we're you know repairing everything to show you and uh, get the job done so here we go the reason the holes are here is because this is the ladder so the wind we pulled it tight with the straps and the corner of the ladder caught and caused these holes so it actually goes all the way up the ladder there's another one there so I, they're pretty sharp. I'm feeling it right here. Yeah. You can actually hear it. Yeah. It's got a sharp edge, so I think it's just cutting right through yeah. the cover. Hopefully the patch will work good. It says that you need to cut a patch so that it extends one inch beyond the tears. So we need to go, you know, an extra inch beyond. I might even go just a little more. I think it might give yeah, a little fine. extra Make security Make them six by there. six or something like that. And it just says you just partially peel back the edge of the paper liner that's on the back. You expose one area of the patch and press it on. And then you just pull the rest of it off. And then it says rub entire patch vigorously to seal. And then you can repeat on the opposite side of the fabric. Um, it repairs tears and holes. We recommend applying the patch to a clean, dry surface area on both inside and the outside. So I'm going to do a little extra than one just, inch, especially since it's on the corner. I so I, I ended this and it loosened it up some so I can get to it better. So, so yeah, we'll just cut along the existing. I'll just go ahead and make two pieces out of it. I'm trying to get the fabric together a little bit so the hole's not there. Right now it's kind of a hole, so if I stretch it tight this way, it's closing the hole up so I can add this onto it. So see how it closes it up like that? Yeah. said to rub vigorously so that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to put a piece on the inside of it so that'll cover the hole up on both sides like it said. Yeah. I'm glad I read directions because I didn't know I was supposed to put a piece on the inside too. I would forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright so I'm checking the corners. I'm going to go all the way down. Looks pretty good. You can tell it's new. The color's lighter. Yeah. All right, so that one's on. Looks like it's on pretty good. The edges aren't coming up or anything like that, so. So there, no more hole. Looks good. Looks good. Trade you. Do the inside. Tony's my trash boy. Yeah. You going vertical or horizontal? What? You going vertical? I can go vertical with it. Like this? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it's going very up and down more. Who knows? I don't know. There's no telling. You know. I mean, we're not patch experts, yeah. so, you know, you get what you get. Yeah. There's probably a better way to do it. We're probably doing it the wrong way. <laughs> no, the wrong way is by not doing anything at all. True. <laughs> that There's, is definitely a wrong way. There is nothing wrong with attempts. <laughs> That's how you learn. All right, rubbed vigorously. Okay, that looks pretty.
pretty good. I think I can. Yeah, I can get in. I was I'm gonna, gonna get inside. I'm in there. Yeah, it's gonna give me a bad hair day, but <laughs> it's all for the cause, right? All for the cause. All for the beastie. It's kind of snug in here. <laughs> yeah, I see the hole now. Oh, actually, I can rub it better because I can put a hand on each side too. And that's gonna give it a double, extra double layer on each side, and right. it's gonna keep that. Yeah. sharp edge from rubbing so yeah we're trying to push that new patch off so we have both of these finished now it looks much better in a hole so we need to tackle the one up high so i'm thinking if you pulled your truck around here i could just stand on the tailgate we got lucky there wasn't a trailer here i know we did otherwise we would have had to balance ourselves on the back of the bumper yep i mean tony would have had to balance himself <laughs> on the back of the bumper here we go This one's really got a fat hole, you know? Okay. Now, just need to do the inside. The inside? You think you're gonna be able to get to that one? You know. <laughs> Climb inside on the ladder or something? Yeah. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, cut your piece off and see what you got. We'll see. I see it from this side. Let me see if I can do it like this. My arms aren't really long. Is it? So this is the high one. So here it is right here. You can see that white dot right here. That's the hole. Here I am inside, <laughs> inside the, the cover, trying to fix this hole, <laughs> and Tony's peeking in on us. Here's Tony. <laughs> it's about fixed. I just got to rub it vigorously. Oh, look out! <laughs> okay. So there's the patch job. We got it done. There's the top one. <laughs> All right, well, we checked everything out and didn't see any water leaks. Everything looks fine. Oh, we're just gonna finish up here and I guess we'll be back in the spring.